welcome back, everybody. Let's play Christian Ghost Cab for the DS. I see you're experiencing some technical difficulties as Starfish Man. But we're also no now so happy that we've grown eyelashes, so it's okay. Also, Sandy's here. I mean, can't ever forget that Sandy actually has a rocket. That's how she gets to places like this. But I just repaired I, I repaired it at the very end of last episode. Why is this... I guess pressing those buttons just wasn't enough. Also, what is with Sandy's palette on the bottom screen? Why is she gray? Oh, naturally. Oh, I'm so tired of having to collect things in the platform segments of this game. Seriously. I'm not here for collection quests. Do you do anything? No, you don't. Why are you... There we go. Do I at least jump really high? Yes, I do. Okay. That's probably going to become annoying instead of helpful. But that's an idea. Okay. So there's a button. Uh, I actually can keep that button pressed right now, because that'll probably last turn this. Look at that! Genius. And are you going to have to go around the other way? I'm curious as to why I'd want to go up this way instead of... Oh, because I can't get back, that's why. Okay. So, apparently I'm... Oh. Okay, I was about to say, apparently I'm inside this asteroid, but no, I don't think I am. There's... Well... There are ceilings in some places. I don't really know how else to explain it. Oh, and actually, there are also robots too, because why would there not be? Got these jellyfish, they're ever so intelligent. Getting oxygen helmets. Magic Man, of course, being Starfish Man, does not actually require any sort of aid to breathe. And he's superior to land critters and jellyfish alike. Boom! Big fall. Okay. So apparently this thing... Yeah, you don't want those to mess with you. So far, the game's actually seeming pretty kind to me when it comes to platforming in this level. That doesn't mean much. That is a, a distressingly short amount of time that's giving me. Oh, hello. How'd that happen? I'd rather you not. Could you not? Go away. So, all I have to do right here... Okay, so I need to drop back down there. What's this do, precisely? That. What does this do? Not what I want that to be. Okay. So, Patrick, is there any way to, I could possibly coax you into picking this up? Then doing that? Yep, th yes there is. Awesome. See? We're beginning to game the game. It's not going to get the best of us anymore. I don't even need that. Okay. I think we're outdoors again. Oh, look, they're just handing it to us on a silver platter now. I don't even need that. I'm going to turn down that max health, because I don't want it. But now we're going to run. I'd rather not run, Patrick. Stop it. Okay, so what's actually here before we start? Losing all sensibility and throwing ourselves at things at very high speeds. So a lot to be seen. So there's that. There's this. Stop that. Why can't you sidestep these plants for one? And two, why are these plants even here? Patch it decide you want to push things. I guess it's not the worst instinct to have right now here. Don't you dare. So it seems like, actually, I tested it earlier. This emulator does actually have an option to, like, see the microphone input as you're pressing the micro microphone. I said microwave? Microphone input as you press the microphone button. And for some reason, I doesn't seem to register anything when I press the microphone button. Which is weird, though, because if that's the case, then how were the jellyfish almost getting repelled by me pressing the microphone button? I was a little confused by that, admittedly. But in any case, as it stands, we are still completely... Vulnerable to jellyfish. Wait. Can I, isn't the problem that I need to stand on this and simultaneously have access to this? I can do that. Game! Did the developers seriously not consider the fact that you could actually control the camera? What? Whatever.
I'll take it. I'm guessing he says shoot at you or something. Is there a reason to do this? No, absolutely not. Wonderful. So I can let that fall myself, but I shouldn't, because that would kill me. I'm tempted regardless, because it would be entertaining. Please, fall. Does he actually shoot or anything? He just walks at me. Am I supposed to let the trap down there? I won't think so. I don't see anything else happening. What's the idea here? Uh, okay. Okay, Patrick. You need to do that, but then not fall. Okay, so I think I have an idea of what we can do here. Drop down. Activate this. There we go. Go Starfish Man! That's pretty much what we needed. Alright, we actually have most of the parts now. This is actually going by a lot more quickly. Now that I'm getting more used to it, so it doesn't feel like it's dragged on for as long. But we haven't even hit the uh, 500 second mark just yet, so I think we're actually dragging these a little bit more quickly this time. That is very good. Here's this one that just dropped up there. Can't see it. That was just health. Alright, whatever. Yeah, that's a lot of health there. How much did they actually expect us to take? Well, it's unclear what's down there, so we probably shouldn't be dropping down. I feel like we just need to push this down to some block, and then we'll... Yeah, there we go. And then we can head on over there and turn the crank in, etc. Alright, toughest man, your work here is done. Why can't, like, why can't you run in the place where it's actually useful for you to go fast? Beautiful. Oh no, whatever will I do? Boom. Okay. This is different, we don't have walls around our springs. But why? Why would you nearly kill me like that? Why is it... Why does it just drop me... Right in front of the spring instead of where I need to be. On the spring. Whatever. We're good? Man, that was brief. Eight minutes that took. Less, actually. Beautiful. So I don't know why I want those seeds. Maybe we will actually finish this game one day. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Whatever. Leave me alone. It's electric powered. Come on. Like, this is... <laughs> This is an exact repeat of what we did with Spongebob! Like, the exact same formula! First, we need to pick up the parts to repair our destroyed- oh wow, that's interesting. Our destroyed vehicle. Then, we need to get fuel for our destroyed vehicle. Hi. Boom. Not very threatening robots here. How about we not have it fall on us? Alright, Starfish Man. Can I destroy the fish by dropping something on it? Yes, beautiful. Uh, is there anything more to do? I guess we're gonna do what we just now did. Drop on down. Blindly. There we go. And then just let this thing go. drop on down. No, Patrick. Do not let it fall on your head, please. Your very conical head. Go away. No, oh, I accidentally killed that thing somehow. I don't know how. I only tapped it like twice. Two or three times. I think I tapped it once accidentally. Okay, that's not really doing anything obvious. So I'm noticing that these sag a little bit when I stand on them. Which is peculiar. The amount of health they're giving us now is very unexpected. It's unprecedented. Alright. Jump. I'm getting the hang of jumping around in this game anyways, I think. Although it's a lot easier in this case since I don't have to worry about time gets this tight. Oh, I see. The problem is that these are time platforms. 
That's the idea. But it's a ludicrously long amount of time they're giving me. Like, come on. Okay. I thing is, if you run out of time, you basically just die. So, it's good they're giving me a lot of time. I guess there is, there is also the fact that you walk across this more slowly, and then you need to walk forward and backward. Oh, look at that. Stereo audio. Headphone users, look out. Got some serious stuff up in here. Left ear? Right ear. Get going, Starfish Man. Don't know how much time is left. There's actually no indication whatsoever, so you just kind of have to guess. And I guess we'll never find out. Whatever. I don't even know what the point of a timer is if you, you never run out. All this health, man. Why? Now, what do I think is hurting me, though? I'm actually not sure. Uh, is there a reason to destroy that? I guess there will be later. So what exactly are, are we in right now? Like, where, what's all this stuff? Also, why are the fuel cells white on the top screen? I haven't quite figured that out in my head either. Yeah, see, it's co all colorful on the bottom of the screen. Top screen, not quite so much the case. Uh, do I want to... I guess we want that to hit a button, don't we? Yeah, okay. Simple mind-numbing quote-unquote puzzles. Something I can work with at least. A lot better than problematic platforming. Now, I don't quite recall what the top screen looked like when we were playing as Plankton. I guess we'll eventually see once again where Plankton actually sleeps, because I don't quite recall where it was. Slendrop, as you may remember, was actually sleeping outside. Patrick was an odd case in that he actually sleeps in his house. Why would I want that? Like, why do you not give me clocks like that on the super long Starfish Man levels? Maybe they did, I don't quite recall though. It's been some time. Oh, Pat, dude! There's a multitude of inputs that are being directed at you right now. Wait a minute, wait. Darn it. I don't even have to push that block. I could have just stood on that and then moved the camera up to the side. I just didn't realize that was what it wanted me to do. Like I said, mindless. Whatever. And then I could push that block over into this portal. Discover what wonderful things awaited there in the portal. For this block. You could have... Expanded its horizons, seeing a whole new world. Alright, anything fun up here? No! Oh, not running! Stop. There's just a clock over there that I have no reason for wanting anyways. This is barren. There we go. I guess. It's not really doing it. Okay, we're not doing anything at all. What's the deal with that? Like, we didn't. Nothing happened. Please. Please. Okay. Still, a falling victim to jellyfish after all this time would be a little bothersome, I think. Things that should only take a single tap to get rid of forever. It's okay, Patrick. Don't. What? Okay, that. What? That was. Okay, so I'm hoping. I'm thinking you guys saw what happened there, too. See, I realized that Patrick was going to try to start walking forwards. So, in preparation for that, I made him start facing left so he'd go back to the platform and not fall off. But that actually reversed the knockback, so he started getting knocked backwards yet again. And then. Once he hit the ground, because he was facing towards the edge, he hit walking off the ledge. That was crazy. It's also a very mean thing to put up there at the top. I can't see up there anyway. Guess I'm gonna need up there. Uh, I guess it'll actually be helpful at this time to pick up the health they're offering me. What a surprise. Uh, I think I'll. I guess I'll have to cut off the episode after the end of this 
uh, room as well. Let's just pick this up real quick. Stop. What's up here? It awaits us. Ah, that's what awaits us. Okay. Fair enough. Hopefully this isn't death. Okay. Well, I wasn't really sure what was directly below me just then. I decided to get adventurous and do things out of order for a moment there. Okay, so it's the idea that we have to... I think it is. That's kind of weird. They realize that's a thing we could do. New mechanic. What? But... Oh, well, I guess not. What's the point of this block, then? It's the idea behind this block, because like, we're supposed to push something up here, aren't we? Because otherwise, unless you move the camera, you can't really see this thing down here. And it's already been demonstrated to us that the devs don't actually expect you to move the camera to press switches. So what do you do with this block? I really don't know. Whatever. Okay, so that'll be that for this episode. Let's play Creature from the Crusty Grab. See you guys next time, next episode, when we, I suppose, finally get Patchman, Starfish Man, back off the ground. Bye, guys!